Thank you, Mr. President. I would be remiss if I didn't thank Senator Marchione. Also, I have my lovely socks on today, like everyone else. And uh, I stand because I, I think I have to stand on behalf of my brother, Joey. And uh, I was about eight years old when my mother got pregnant with my brother, Joey. And along that way, we found that uh, he was a Down syndrome baby. And uh, there's a lot of discussions going on. We, we had a lot of confusion back then. This was a while back. Uh, Joey passed away in the year of 1975 at the age of 15 from leukemia, childhood leukemia. Mm. If he was alive today, he probably would have beat that. And I remember my, my father uh, being in the hospital, uh, laying next to Joey for, uh, it seemed like maybe uh, days in there, just uh, waiting, trying everything they could to uh, have him survive. And he passed away in, his, uh, in my father's arms in the bed in the hospital. But I remember uh, the children weren't nice uh, at that point. And uh, people weren't nice at that point when you were having a, a Down syndrome trial. And uh, they were saying some strange things to me as, as a child about, oh boy, this, uh, using the terms monster, you, this is terrible. You, this is the worst thing in the world. So when my mother uh, uh, was going to have the baby, got in the car, my father, the whole family went over there uh, with my other brother, Tommy, four years older than me, uh, got to the hospital. The mother had the baby and I was really shaken. I didn't know you know, if I wanted to see my brother or not see my brother, all the things I've heard. And uh, finally got to go in and see my mother with the baby in her arms, my brother Joey, the most beautiful baby I ever saw in my life. And I was confused. I said, where's our baby, mom? Well, that was our baby. That was the Down syndrome baby. That's the baby, that's the Gerber baby now. And uh, we have an obligation uh, to make sure we understand that the quality of life is important no matter what the challenges are. And uh, Joey had some challenges throughout his life. But I can tell you this, uh, the doctor actually went into my mother and said, you're probably gonna wanna send uh, your child uh, to a facility out west. We have a facility where these children can go. My mother looked at him and said, we take our babies home. This is an Italian family. We don't send our children out west. And, uh, oh, okay, the doctor walked out. And we took Joey home, and I have to tell you, probably in my entire life, I went to some good colleges, had some good educators, some good, probably learned uh, maybe most, the most important lessons from my brother Joey. Learned something about unconditional love. Learned something about, uh, it's not necessarily the challenges we have, uh, it's the way the family cares for the challenges, it's the way society treats those challenges. It's the way society respects those challenges and understand each of us as neighbor to neighbor, as legislators, the most important objective we should have as elected officials, I think, it's pretty easy, is to do everything we can to remove the obstacles that are for every one of the 19 and a half million people, help them to do that so they can be everything they can be with the God-given talents they've been given. And, uh, I remember that uh, from that experience of uh, having a, a Down syndrome brother uh, like Joey because uh, he taught us that uh, challenges can be overcome in a lot of ways and uh, you won't make, reach perfection but uh, others have the obligation to, to help in every way and to respect every individual and to respect every individual's challenges and I think that's what today is all about. We remember these beautiful children, we remember the importance of the quality of life quality of life for all of us, because everybody in this room has a challenge that they need to overcome, or many challenges. Every one of us. And uh, maybe Joey, maybe some of the other children have a bigger and larger challenges. We have an obligation to help them fight through those challenges and become everything they can be. And as Senator Seward said, we've got movie stars now, gonna make a lot more money than everybody in this room and uh, doing a darn good job of, of what they do at it. So uh, I, I think the uh, lesson from Joey and the lesson that Senator Marchione is teaching us today as we wear those socks and uh, show the respect for all children, no matter what their challenges is, is that uh, we have an obligation to do everything we can to let them reach their full goals. And uh, 
The goals are much larger now, much bigger. They can reach higher heights. They're living a lot longer, and uh, we have an obligation to even expand that. So I thank you, uh, Mr. President. I thank my colleagues. I thank the senator for sponsoring this bill. And uh, today, uh, I know Joey's looking down and said, uh, uh, thank you, Brother Jim, for standing up and speaking up for me and uh, all our children who face the challenge of Down syndrome. Thank you.